Oh, let's see if this works. I haven't done a YouTube live stream in over 90 days. I wonder why. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm unbanned from YouTube live streams. I was as of my birthday, September 3rd. So I can do YouTube live streams now. And I also enabled the uh, the membership thing for YouTube. So if someone wants to be a member, that's going to be uh, that's a thing. And the perk for that is I'm going to do a, a private... I'm probably going to say this like 10 times during this video. I'm going to do private live streams for my members where we just kind of shoot the shit. Birthday is a day, Crab. That's awesome. First time live. We do this every once in a while, so I'm going to let it... I'll let it populate a little bit talk to you guys and then we're gonna explain what I'm gonna explain what we're doing we've done this a few times I think we've done this is our fourth fourth time doing it O2 Grand Am thank you so much man so what we're gonna do is was I twitch man no your daddy's a fireman I'm sorry uh hey 12 AD is my first member <laughs> Thanks, members. So, hey, I got two members now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I added this membership thing, so I'm going to do weekly live streams just for my members. Um, we just hang out and shoot the shit. Sean, thanks for the super chat. This is our third or fourth time doing this. Uh, we did May last time, so we're going to do June this time. And we're going to go over every single person killed by police in the month of June. Cool, Jonathan. Thank you so much for the super chat. We like to do this every once in a while. 12 AD. <laughs> yep, you were my first member, 12 AD. Got a nice little badge there. Um, so it's just kind of to show, hey, the police aren't just going around killing people for no reason because usually it ends up like 95% being justified. So. Hi, hello. How you doing? So I'm just gonna give it a minute, and then we're gonna start. Hey, we got a lot of people in here watching. That's pretty. That that's pretty good. Uh, Daniel, thanks for that. We're gonna get started here in a minute. We'll get started at like five minutes. I'm gonna get another two minutes of just hanging out, and talking to you guys. I like talking to you guys. Me for police chief? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if, if anyone would like that. Hey, Logan, thanks, man. Thanks for being a member. My tweets are amazing. Thank you. I tweet. I spend too much time on Twitter. Way more time than I should. Um, as you can see in the top up here, right above me, we have justified, not justified, questionable, not enough info. And if there are any more categories that need to be added, we're going to add those. But like I said, we go over every single person killed by police. Uh, we do it month by month because there's so many. These streams usually take an hour and a half to two hours, sometimes longer depending on how many people and how much research needs to be done. But there's this wonderful website called killbypolice.net that tracks every single time a police officer kills somebody. Sometimes they put some bullshit ones in there, but um, they finish their June list. They have their July list up here. We're going to do June right now. There were 92 people in the United States killed by police in the month of June. And we're pro did I get? I didn't get banned on Twitch. Just because I'm on YouTube doesn't mean I got banned on Twitch. It, it's I'm on YouTube right now because I was unbanned from YouTube. I was banned from live streaming on here for the past 90 days. Because of the T-Rex kid video, where the, the guy pushes the kid on the ground and he's like, I, I got I got a strike for that against my channel. When you have one strike on your channel, you can't you can't stream. Ninety two people. Let's we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for all my members. I have the membership thing up now. One last time before we get started. If you're a member, I'm gonna do live streams just for members where we can hang out and shoot the shit. I think a membership is five bucks. So, it's a new little thing YouTube added, and since I don't have a strike on the channel, I was able to add it. <sighs> Sovereign Citizen Bingo later? No, we're going to do Everyone Killed by Police in the month of June, and we're probably going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for the welcome back, The Life of Kai. It's good to be back. Hello. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. Thanks for all my new members. Thanks, Mr. Fahrenheit. Come on, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Me for mayor? I'll be a mayor. You want to make me the mayor somewhere? I'm on it. Hey, Valk. How do you become a member? I think there's a thing that says member and you click it. I don't I don't, I don't know. How much of the revenue from membership goes to me personally? I think all of it does, honestly. They don't take as much as Twitch does. Thanks, Average Gamer. I'm not fat dummy. 
Oh, that's that's my son. I'm not fat, dummy. He called his pediatrician a dummy because she said he was he was obese. He's not. He's solid muscle. Holy cats! You were just about to call me? I'm sorry, man. We can talk afterwards if you want to. It says join. Oh yeah, there's a button that says join. Hunter, thank you. John Doe. All right, here we go. We're gonna get started with this. Um, if you're just jumping in here, we're doing what we got. We got 2,000 people in here. Sweet. Every person killed by police in the United States in the month of June. There's 92 of them. We're going to start off with Juan Carlos Perez Victor of California, June 1st, 2018, 38 years old. Uh, Torrance police fatally shoot man brandishing knife. Uh, man, Torrance police shot and killed a man they said was brandishing a knife. According to police, suspect would not comply even after non-lethal measures were used, at which point an officer involved shooting took place. A uh, video of the shooting taken by a witness shows the suspect sitting on the ground in the parking lot at first being struck by multiple non-lethal rounds, so they beanbag the guy. The man gets up and charges towards officers with a knife who opened fire. We're going to go ahead and mark that up as justified. We're one in. Let's move on to the next one. Andre Estrada, 21 years old, out of Florida. And there's only two on June 1st. So, Russell, Russell Jerome, thank you. Billy, thank you very much. Polk County de uh, Detective fatally shoots suspect who's attacking partner. Uh, sheriff detective shot to death a child pornography suspect. Can we just go ahead and mark that justified? <laughs> um, who was attacking another detective at home. He attacked a detective at home. Allowed detective to view his phone and computer. Hey, thank you. Donut, hope the birthday dinner was amazing. It was. I made it myself. Welcome, Texan Pride. And Matthew Crump Pollock. Uh, when Manly went in, you heard a commotion. He lunged at Smith as soon as Medley left the room. He was on top of Smith trying to grab her gun. All right, child pornography suspect trying to grab a detective's gun. Got smoked by the partner. We're going to do that as two justified. Shamir D'Angelo Terry, 39 years old, out of Georgia. Man shot dead by deputies did not rob store in the usual way. What's an unusual way to rob a store? Let's find out. An armed robbery suspect was shot dead late Saturday by Bibb County detectives after he pulled a gun. A man entered the store, pointed a gun at an employee, and fired a shot when he became frustrated with the employee. He took cash. He was driving through an Applebee's parking lot when the deputy approached the suspect and a struggle ensued. The struggle continued. During the struggle, a taser was deployed, but it was not effective. The suspect pulled a handgun and was shot by the deputies. Justified. Robbed a store, got tased, pulled a handgun, still got shot. Why didn't they mace him in the child porn? Why didn't they tase him in the child porn? You're right. Why didn't they, they, tase, his, they, they tase his balls? Um... You guys remember the Sovereign Citizen video where the guy's in the auto zone parking lot and they drive stun his, his nuts? He's like, oh, my penis! I did not do anything wrong! Uh, Renee Rini. Renee or Rini? What would that be? Hawaii, 55 years old. Oh, uh, shit, where am I at? All right. Welcome, abortion survivor 556. Your name kills me every time. One man dead after officer involved shooting in Wapahu. I remember this one, I think. Is he the one that killed the officer? Uh, what started into a hit and run escalated into a police shooting that left a Wapahu, Wapahu man dead inside of his apartment. Whoa. Um, uh, witnesses say Cable taunted the officer to shoot him and that officers had been called into the same apartment before. Officer fired three shots inside the apartment after he threatened the officer with a serrated knife and ran inside. Uh, he caught the suspect in the hallway outside the apartment when the officer told him to stop. He took out a knife, faced the officer, and kept walking backwards. He made his way to the second floor apartment where he locked himself in. So we got a barricaded suspect with a knife who has threatened someone after he committed a hit and run. Uh, abortion survivor. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, thanks all the new members. It's cool. There's a little join button now, by the way, guys. In case you didn't hear me say, I'm going to be doing uh, weekly streams just for my members. Um, Kit backing up and kept saying shoot me kill me kill me and he backed all the way into his apartment uh mel lunged at the officers at close range and he still had a serrated knife they told him to drop the knife but he lunged at him he pushed the knife and they shot him okay he had a knife lunged at officers uh, officers that's four um julio eduardo hernandez mata oklahoma june 3rd Thank you, Texan Pride. You're the best. Tase him right in his child porn. That's what I'm saying. Um, officer shoot and kill suspect involved in Chickasha double homicide. Uh, they confirmed two victims and one suspect are dead following a domestic shooting and an officer involved shooting. They found Officers found two people dead in a home, two children unharmed. Well, that's good. Uh, there was a pursuit. There was a 
tactical defense inter intervention maneuver, also known as a pit. Uh, shots were fired by three different agencies. A weapon was located inside the suspect's vehicle. I would say justified. Double homicide. He killed two people, ran from police. Pit was performed. And then three different agencies shot at him. I don't think they did that for no reason. We're going to go with five. 31 years ago, I was invented. <laughs> That's true. How's everybody doing tonight? I know I'm moving kind of fast, but there's 92 to go over. Uh, no name. Here's a no name right here. Uh, deputy shoot man allegedly armed with axe. Body spray? That's no reason to shoot a man. It smells like shit, but that's no reason to kill a man. Maybe. Uh, he was armed with an axe. Non-compliant person with an axe. Suspect was hit by gunfire and was transported to the hospital where he died. Non-compliant suspect with an axe. Let's go with justify. We're going to say not enough info, but non-compliant suspect with an axe kind of, you know. Rudy Molini, California, 34 years old. Love from Oklahoma. I can't keep making great content, says Spencer. Steven, thank you so much, Spencer. What are you? Get the fuck out of here, paywall. I didn't ask for you. Go away. Go. Jeez. Oh, my God. It's not going to let me read it without the fucking paywall. Here we go. Oh, oh damn it. Hold on. Got to turn my ad blocker off. Motherfucker. Did they ask him a question? Oh, God. Go away. I turned off the ad blocker. Can you fuck off so I can read? I'm, I'm, try I'm doing a stream here. PE.com. Really? You're not going to let me read it now? Ugh, for fuck's sake. Hold on. Let's try it one more time since I turned ad blocker off. There we go. Uh, what, what began as a pursuit of a possibly intoxicated driver ended in deputy involved shooting Sunday evening with the suspect dead at the scene. Deputies tried to pull over the driver because it was a possible DUI. He sped off. Um, suspect down. There were no injuries to deputies or civilians. No, there's no additional details of the shooting were immediately available. Damn it. Hold on, let me turn the lo-fi down a little bit. It's getting a little loud. Hey, Alpha Kilo. David, thank you. This is going to help my paper in that you're an awesome YouTuber. Thank you, Alpha. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the, the super chat. All right, so there's like no information on this one. Uh, this happened earlier this month. So, Rudy Molina. Let's go ahead and we're going to search for Rudy Molina. Shooting. Ooh, is that a fundraiser for him? No, thank you. Shot during confrontation with suspect. Identified. Is this the same? This is the same thing. PE. Oh wait, here we go. He was. This is a different article. It's a few days later. Peanut, thank you so much, man. Oh my God, fuck off, paywalls. Uh, love you, Michael. Thank you so much. Uh, does the fact you're able to donate mean you're a member? No, you got to click join and then actually become a member. Uh, Rudy Malina, he was under the influence of alcohol, armed with a handgun and a rifle, and driving around, according to reports. During an earlier dispute, he had just he had threatened to shoot law enforcement if confronted. He refused to surrender and entered his vehicle and led deputies on a high-speed pursuit. He refused to surrender and brandished a rifle as the canine moved in and there was a deputy involved shooting. Justified all day long. Seven. Where are we at? Joshua Nash Bryant. Uh, it's 20 years old out of North Carolina. Kakalaki. Almost put those two words together and said Korkalaki. That wouldn't have made sense. I need to stop trying to be cool. Hey, the Punisher 56. Thanks for, uh, thanks for jumping in. Are you late, sad boy? No, you're not that late. We're only seven in of 92. Uh, hold up a second, guys. Here we go. How's John doing? He's fantastic. Man killed in standoff identified. Deputy put on paid leave. Uh, we received calls of a suspect trying to fight drivers on the side of the road. He engaged in an argument with another driver about their driving. At some point, he exited his vehicle along with the driver of the other vehicle. Bryant punched the victim after the two separated. Bryant used his vehicle to strike the other car, causing minor damage. He then re retrieved a machete and struck the, the victim's vehicle. And then he fled the scene. Um, the deputies arrived in response about a suicidal person upon arrival. Deputies evacuated surrounding houses and a standoff with an armed individual. Uh, the individual exited the home while armed... Deputy shot the individual after he exited the home. So it started off as road rage. Um, oh, he had warrants. And then he barricaded himself inside. Then he exited the house armed. Okay. Eight. There we go. It, 
Uh, Joshua Stanford, 40 years old, out of Missouri. Can we get a race? You know, because we have a percentage chart. Hotel Trivago. I don't think it has race on here. Uh, Robert Bauer, Caleb, thank you so much. Do I know they are soon? Austin, thanks for becoming a member. I have members now on YouTube. Uh, Joshua, is this who we just went over? Is it Joshua? No. Officer involved shooting in Springfield. Officers uninjured. Uh, uh, responded to the area for reported theft. The suspect ran through the alley, through backyards, leaving leaping fences, and briefly entered a home. So we got home invasion there. The suspect shot at the officers who were pursuing him. Several minutes passed, and more shots rang out. Uh, 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 this witness said she watched an officer get out of his car and pursue the suspect, who then fired shots at the police. Okay, we're going to just go ahead and mark that up as justified. Abel Guzman, 55 years old, out of Texas. Uh, Tau Fuller Damas. <laughs> What's up, man? Suicidal man shot by a Perlin officer in parking lot dies. Uh, Perlin police. Uh, Officers were called to the store, uh, blah, blah, blah. Reports someone had discharged a weapon. When they arrived, they found a suspect who was carrying a gun. The man raised the gun at one of the officers, at which point multiple officers opened fire. Justified. Ten. Ten down. Here we go. Uh, Brian Puskas from Ohio. 47-year-old Brian. Deputy involved shooting. Deputies responded to call after a woman said her husband came home from work early and was acting erratically, threatened her with weapons. The woman indicated there were multiple guns and knives in the residence. The woman reportedly left and went to a neighbor's house. She told deputies when she left, her husband came out with a rifle. Deputies negotiated with him for several minutes in the front yard, but were unable to get him to comply. Uh, Austin, thanks for becoming a member. Puskas was eventually shot by deputies who immediately rendered first aid and called for medical assistance. So he was in his front yard. Was he armed in his front yard? Yeah. He came out with a rifle. They tried to negotiate with him, and he was eventually shot by deputies. Okay, barricade the suspect, rifle. We're going to do that. It's justified. Arsuinev, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, man. Ah, where are we? Ro Roger. Roger Dell Sims, 56 years old, out of Georgia. Uh, man dies. Damn it. Go away. Man dies following an officer involved shooting in Troop County. This is my show, sweetheart. One man is dead following an officer involved shooting. Ba, 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 ba. He shot with his wife. So the 911 call came in as he shot his wife. They arrived on scene. They encouraged Roger Sims standing on his front porch holding two handguns. They instructed him to put the hands, handguns down. Sims then walked in the yard and fired the guns into the ground. He was given verbal commands to put the guns down at that point. He put one of the guns on a truck parked in the yard and the other to his head. He was given verbal commands. He then pointed the gun in the direction of the deputies. 12. Welcome, Brenda Olshalegal. I can't say her name. I'm so sorry. Uh, Maurice Grant, 24 years old, out of Illinois. Chicago police fatally shoot man. Chicago police shot somebody? After armed confrontation in Bronzeville. Uh, police say they were conducting a narcotics investigation when they approached the suspect who then fled on foot. They chased the suspect. The man was shot after an armed confrontation, according to officials. Uh, police say the man was armed with a gun. He had a gun that was recovered at the scene. Ew, we need some more info on that one. He fled and had a gun and ended up being shot. Uh, Brett, thank you. Emily, Jesse, thank you so much, guys. Oh, fuck a duck. What's his name? Ah, they don't have his name. Offender's weapon recorded by police. Um, well, he had a gun. It was a narcotics investigation, and he ran from police. Click here for an update. Hold on, here's an update. Armed man running away. Did I do a video on this one? Uh, so the officer told the man to stop, and he produced a weapon, so the officer shot him. Okay. Justified. Um, no name out of New York. Man shot dead by police at home in Merrick, Nassau, not Nassau, Nassau County. Sean killed by police responding to domestic oh, violence. Shut shoot. up. This is my show. Just remember, everyone, domestic violence, most dangerous thing a police officer can go to. Uh, my brother woke me up. We went outside. The cops pulled up. They told us to get in the back of the house. Two minutes later, we heard gunshots. It's still being investigated. God dang it. Hold on. Merrick police shooting. Let's look at this one. Officer involved shooting. That was August. No, that's August. Uh, June 6th. Here we go. I think this is it. 
Yeah, this is it. Uh, 43 year old man who lives at home. Scored away Wednesday. Well, Jesus Christ, come on, man. Hold on. You're slowing me down. It's killing, killing the, uh, killing my vibe. Damn it. God damn it. All right, I don't know. We're gonna do not enough info for that one because there really isn't enough info. Uh, Abrams No Flores, 34 years old, out of California. Gunman near sh college shot by deputies. Um, oh my God, paywall, get out of my life. Hold on, I gotta turn off ad blocker on this one too. A man armed with a rifle and a handgun near a college was shot and killed by uh, Tahama County Sheriff Sergeant after the man raised the rifle towards deputies and took aim at them. 14. Hey, Zach, thanks, man. Am I going to be doing this instead of Twitch going forward? Oh no, absolutely not. I just I'm, I can come or I can I can I can play or I can uh, st God words fuck. Um, I can stream on YouTube once again because it's been 90 days since I got my strike, so my strike is lifted off my channel. My channel is in good standing. I'm just going to be doing these every once in a while. And for people who join and become members of my YouTube, I'm going to be doing a weekly stream just for you guys. Words, words tonight, boys. Um, Abraham, no fly. No, I'm, I'm still going to be doing my nightly, usually nightly Twitch streams. Not tonight, though. This is this is what I'm doing tonight. Notify blood sacrifice Satan. That's what I did. I I, I offered a blood sacrifice today. I uh, put a puppy in a microwave, and so YouTube took my strike off my channel. That's all they wanted. Uh, Abraham Flores. Gunman. Oh, that we just fucking did that one. Come on, come on, get with it. Wes Allen, 33 years old, out of New Mexico. Suspect Jesus, look at that car. They shot the shit out of it. I don't want to support local journalism because then I would be supporting like 300 different newspapers a year. Ah! Thank you. Just wrap. Look at that car. Holy shit. Basic test. Ooh, they and shot the shit out of that. Up immediately after. Thank you for the impeccable timing, Donut. Adam, thanks for subbing. Or sub, I guess I said sub. Joining. Thanks for joining. I'm getting a lot of new members tonight. Cameron, thank you. I appreciate it, buddy. Look at that car. They shot the shit out of that car. Oh my god, go away. Bro, bit, 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 bit. U.S. Marshal Service Task Force killed a man in a shootout after tracking to a parking lot in Southeast Albuquerque Motel. Lewis, thank you. Cole. What's where they implies the The worst anti police videos I've ever seen. Anything that the Young Turks does, usually. And that um, homeless-looking Ryan Reynolds that is on their channel now. God, that guy's such a douche. U.S. Marshal Service, blah, blah, blah. Early news morning. Love I can't your work see how much from that down is. under. Yeah. Peas. Hey, Heard thanks, Chris. From a fan of yours on Beauty and the Beta. Hell you yeah. Need to go on. Beauty and the Beta? What the fuck is that? I was on something called the Beauty and the Beta? Oh, fuck. <laughs> thanks, Drew. Uh, marshals, BCO deputies. No members were injured. They went to the motel. Shots were fired. Suspects pronounced dead. He was armed. He was wanted for armed robberies throughout the state and probation violations. They saw the car. They saw a car pull into the parking lot, towed by several marshals and deputy vehicles. When the driver tried to get away, two trucks pinned the sedan against the car. Then he said gunfire erupted. They didn't warn nobody. They just opened up on his ass. They were shooting from the back, from the side. Several deputies were involved in the shooting. It is not known how many shit that said they have been placed. Um, so the guy had several... The suspect engaged in a shootout with the task force. All right, so he had several warrant warrants for armed robbery, and he was being tracked by federal marshals, so he probably had it coming. Uh, what was that? At least six deputies fired on the car with rifles and pistols. Okay, justified. Bum, 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 bum. Leslie Yolanda Salazar, 20 years old. Daniel Temper, thanks for uh, joining. Cameron. Welcome back to J. Hello. 630. Now is your time. Hey, thanks, Zap. What happened to the promised roof Koreans video that was going to be like God. 30 minutes long? You keep asking, it's going to get pushed back. Hey, Ricky, what's up, man? Guys, we got Ricky Berwick in chat. Buddy of mine. Really great guy. Has great content. Check him out on YouTube. I saw that uh, uh, guys I am flying through these I'm not I'm not doing a lot of research on each one of these because there's 92 of them to go through if you'd like to go back and double check any of these go right ahead 
Welcome back to YouTube. I know. I, I'm glad to be back on YouTube Live. I didn't tweet about this. I should probably start tweeting about things like this. Let me throw that. Let me throw a tweet out there real quick, guys. I'll answer some questions on chat while I'm doing this. Ah. What, what even is the, the, the stream? God, I'm terrible at this shit. What even is the stream? Um, URL. Hold on, guys. Dashboard. Dashboard. Oh my god, let me click on my fucking channel. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Thank you. Fucker. Hey, thank you. Something something assault object something something roof Koreans. Yes. Yes, that sounds about right. Thank you so much for that. About done, about done, sorry. There we go. Okay, okay, I got it. Here we go, continuing. Uh, police identify a woman with knife killed by police officer, police officer in Southeast Austin shooting. What, 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 that reads funny. Police identify a woman with knife killed by police officer. Police, comma, officer in Southeast Austin shooting. Killed by police, comma, office. Am I am I just reading that wrong, or is that kind of uh, police identified woman with knife killed by police officer in Southeast Austin? Oh, was was it an officer killed? What the fuck? Okay, that's just that's weird. Average thinking. YouTube app doesn't provide a join button yet. They need to get that. you got to go to the actual YouTube website. Oh, that's stupid. Thank you for putting that up there. Um, 20 year old woman was shot and killed by a police officer after she allegedly broke into a home in Southeast Austin, chased the occupants around with a knife and ignored the responding officer's request to drop her weapon. Uh, we're going to mock that up as justified. <laughs> you know what? That last one with the federal marshals, I don't feel comfortable with making that as justified without knowing more information. Six of them opened up on them, but you know, I just, not enough info. I can't, I can't honestly do that and feel good about myself. Did he probably have it coming? Yeah, but I, I'm still going to say not enough info. Doug Connor, 50 years old, out of Washington. It was a standoff. He refused to let a hostage go. Justified. Uh, Raymond Truett the second, 28 years old, out of Indiana. Welcome, AJ Koss. ATF agent shot, suspect killed after ambush on undercover operation. Uh, I'll base off the title. I'm going to go ahead and say justified. An ATF agent was injured, and a suspect died in a shootout after an ambush on law enforcement. We're gonna go ahead and go with seventeen. All these donations means Dona can get the good cheap alcohol and TV dinners tonight, boys. Oh yeah, boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up the Mickey D's and get two Big Macs. Yeah. Ice made me. What is that? Hey, X Free Raven says pigs are cops. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I smell bacon. I smell grease. Here they come. It's the Spartanburg police. Uh, Michael Renfro, 36 years old, out of Mississippi. That's what MS is, right? Is it Mississippi? Boo! Boring, says Free Raven. Boo! <laughs> I don't care. Uh, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation has identified a man who died following a deputy-involved shooting. Deputies call, were called to Old Trace Road. That's where 36-year-old Michael Renfro died. The agency is working through all the details of in the investigation. Not much information has been released. Agents gathered evidence on the scene. Not much information. Been, God damn it. Ugh. What was his name? Uh, Michael Renfro. Let's see if there's any more. Shooting. Husband unarmed when he was shot three times. Ooh. Wife says that. Video show. Oh, video shows what happened. Hold on. I'm not going to listen to the wife. Video shows what happened. 36 year old Jackson man was shot and killed by Madison County Sheriff's deputy. He was a suspect in the house. He was a suspect in a burglary slash auto burglary. Um, he's killed by deputy after the deputy responded to a burglary call. They confronted him in his vehicle, and he ran off. For... According to Tucker, a homeowner, a homeowner confronted Renfro in his vehicle and ran him off before calling 911. The deputy 
was en route to the call when he passed the suspect. Deputy turned around and noticed the vehicle is now stopped in the middle of the road. The deputy stopped a significant distance from the vehicle, and Renfro exited the vehicle before laying flat on the ground. Tucker said the deputy then ordered the passenger Renfro's wife, Amanda, from the vehicle and ordered her to the ground. Sheriff said at that point, Michael Renfro jumped up from the ground and ran towards the deputy, then shot a taser. Tucker said Michael Renfro began pulling the taser probes out and started to attack the deputy. The deputy responded by firing three shots and killing him. He attacked the deputy. The deputy was alone out in the middle of nowhere. We're going to make that justified. How important is college when looking to become a police officer? Some agencies actually require it. A lot of agencies don't. But it does give you, you know, an extra bump up above people who probably don't have it. Uh, Hold on. Let me look. Rock Demon. Thanks for uh, joining. Joshua. He came at officers the shard of glass by Newsday. You investigated the first not enough incident. He came at officers with a shard of glass. Oh, okay. We're going to... That was one of the not enough ones. All right. One. We're going to make that 19. Thank you so much for that. K9 for life. Keep up the good work. Oh, man. I got a rad Pasco County uh, K9 Association shirt. That's pretty awesome. Toffledermis. Donut made me famous and gave me some good mustache tips, too. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, you silly goose? Drew! Thank you. You're suffering from a terminal case of trial prep? Oh, God. Everyone, Drew is an attorney. And uh, he's suffering from a terminal case of trial prep. God bless you, Drew. <laughs> Madison County. We just saw that one. That was that guy we saw. That. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Todd Gregory, 47 years old, out of New Jersey. Uh, authorities investigating federal shooting involving New Jersey State Police. Trooper, troop police near Pennsylvania border. Uh, an armed man died. Uh, bu -bu -bu. He was wanted in connection with the dispute in Long Island where he was uh, harassing a man and his family. He fired a shot at the other man's home and hit his car. Police got in a police got an alert from authorities that an armed he was armed suicidal and planned to engage police. He refused to stop, and state police lost sight of the truck. After a search, officers found the truck parked in a secluded area. As the troopers approached the car on foot, they heard a gunshot come from inside the truck, and one of the officers fired multiple times into the truck. Justified. He probably shot himself, didn't he? It's unclear where they're, what shot fired, what killed the man. That's still justified. All day, every day. LaShonda Anderson, 36 years old, also out of New Jersey. Well... Uh, to eat or not to eat? Uh, eat. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, Swagger Souls did a voiceover for one of my videos, and it's it's quite hilarious. I would check that out. It's called the Reverend Jared Moultrie something something. It's a liar, liar, pants on fire. The thumbnail has Swagger in it. Great video. I guess I am the Bill Gates, he says. Uh, policeman fatally shot a suspect shoplifter as she drove her SUV towards two officers, hitting one with her open door. Uh, justified. Timothy Owen, 49 years old, out of Texas. Shooting involving local officers leaves one dead, one injured. They responded to a disturbance involving weapons. Police said when the officers arrived, they were met with gunfire. They fired back in defense and fatally struck a man. 22. Carnell Nelson, 29 years old, out of Colorado. Police shoot, kill, kidnapping suspect after pursuit. They're trying to apprehend a kidnapping suspect, and they shot and killed the man following the pursuit. Male passenger in the car was wanted for kidnapping, auto theft, domestic violence, harassment, and eluding police. Uh, they attempted to stop the car. He fled on foot. The suspect got out, fled on foot. He bailed. Police said they realized the suspect was armed with a weapon when they tried to make contact with him. And a North Carolina officer shot the man. All right, justified. Kidnapping suspect. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Is this live? It's very live. Are you live, Andy? All right. Uh, Robert Lawrence White, 41 years old, out of... Yes. Officer shoots, kills man at Silver Spring. Hold on. God, I, I just had the biggest fucking brain fart. Hold on. Uh, Maryland. <laughs> I couldn't think of what MD was. Oh, Jesus Christ. Montgomery County police officer shot and killed an unarmed man in Silver Spring, Maryland during a confrontation. Robert Lawrence White, who's an African-American. They had to put that in there. Uh, sh officer shot him multiple times. Did I do this one? Robert White? Was this the guy at the... I was holding on as white as he lay on the ground when... 
I think I did this one. I don't want to talk around the neighborhood daily. Yeah, because bad, bad, yeah, that, yeah, 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 I did a video on this one. It was the guy that said, um, that started punting the officer. Yes. I did a video on this one. Yeah, I did this one. That was justified. He tried to attack the officer multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I did. The, okay. Yeah, I, I, I bad, bad you. What was the officer's name? It was really hard to pronounce. I had to look it up. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm curious now. Bad. <laughs> yeah, I remember it now. Cause and the only reason I knew how to pronounce his name because there was a video where he was getting an award, and when he was with a different agency, and that's how I knew how to pronounce his name. Here he is. Anand, hold on. Detective Anand Budguzer. Budguzer, yeah, that was it. Budguzer, Anand Budguzer. That was when he was with Baltimore Police. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, Nicholas Moncada, Moncada, out of California, 29 years old. Oh, someone, <laughs> who's, who, who's banning, who are we banning? Aftermath of an officer involved shooting. We're told a man held a baby at night point. Police justified. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. Earl McNeil, 40 years old, out of California, also. Family for another gravely injured in custody of National City Police. Mentally ill San Diego resident fell into a coma while in police custody and died when he was taken off life support. Police involved homicide. 40 year old McNeil went to National City Police. Seeking help, but wound up in custody, badly bruised, comatose, and suffering from severe brain damage. God damn. He was agitated and combative to the point where officers had to restrain him. Then he was stricken by a medical emergency while being booked into the county jail. I would like to look into that one. Um, Chavius? 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 I don't know. Mr. Hollis out of Georgia. He's 26 years old. Uh, hi, Melanie. What's up? 26 year old killed by officer killed in officer involved shooting in Walton County. Um, Walton County, Georgia, Georgia Bureau of Investigations. It happened along Lover's Lane in Monroe. Two people were shot, one person is dead, no officers were hurt. Said they were called to a home for a disturbance with a family member, CDV. Um, Hollis had a gun inside the house. Family member told, told dispatch that Hollis was acting erratically. When deputies arrived, a family member and multiple deputies went inside the home. While inside, Hollis raised a gun at a deputy and fired shots. 26, justified. Uh, no name. What's this one? How's Wine doing? Uh, she's doing okay. Her face has been hurting her. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Um, officers were called to... Officers entered a back alley. There's a group of adult males. One of the adult males produced a weapon. There were multiple shots fired during the shooting. The suspect, who was armed with a handgun, was pronounced dead. Okay, produced a handgun towards an officer. And he got shot. Justified. Alexander Aldrich. Hey, Tyler. Gerald, thank you so much, guys. Just going to say it again, if you hit that join button, you become a member of my YouTube, and I'm going to be doing um, weekly streams just for my members. It's going to be pretty fun. Don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to have special guests and, you know, shit like that on there. Suspect killed in shooting with Phoenix Police near Central Osborne. Suspect has been identified. Officers tried to handcuff him after he was trespassing at a business. A struggle ensued. Officers attempted to use a taser and strike techniques before the suspect fled with one handcuff on uh, they located him. He in, he ignored verbal commands, turning and raising his hand, using a handcuff as a weapon. Uh, police officers shot the suspect. All right, attacked officers. Wouldn't follow. Wouldn't follow verbal commands. Had a handcuff. Tried to attack them. Um, he probably had it in his hands, like knuckles. You know, like you can you can actually loop your hand in handcuffs and use them to fuck somebody up. So I would say that's justified. Stephen Cogilia, New Jersey. Adriana Trent, thanks for uh, joining. Oh my God! Please don't make, don't don't do the paywall bullshit again. Two men are dead following separate encounters that happened to only days apart in the same township. Um, he was shot and killed by a state trooper. 
at his home. His father asked him. He threatened his father. The father went to the police station to get a restraining order. He returned home and made threats. Troopers responded and entered the home where he threatened them. They encountered Kogelia in a second floor bedroom where he was armed with a hunting knife. Uh, one trooper opened fire, killing him. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Justified. Hunting knives can kill you. Hey, thanks, Nobody5329. Uh, Denot Denath Guilliford out of Illinois. Will it be Chicago? Let's find out. The page loads. Uh, pigs rule. Goddamn right. Armed man killed by police. Uh, one person dead or police responds to a domestic disturbance. You'll see like 80% of these are domestic. Where is that sound coming from? Why are you talking to me? This is my show. Mute. Mute you. Uh, man had threatened someone with a firearm. Domestic disturbance. Went out to patrol officers. Description of the subject. Went out to patrol officers who spotted a vehicle and a person matching the description. When they tried to conduct a traffic stop, the driver was ordered to show his hand and exit the vehicle. The man had a fire, fi firearm had a firearm in his hand and ignored the officer's orders, at which point the officers f f opened fire. So he had a gun in his hand. Wouldn't follow orders. Justified. Dylan Shane Easel, 21 years old, out of Florida. Oh, zero. You want to put some zeros there? Okay, we'll put some zeros. Man killed by police was armed with pellet gun. Uh, used as officers hit by a ricochet bullet. Um, did we do this one? Oh, it happened in an auto zone. He walked into a Bay Street store armed with what appeared to be a handgun, so they evacuated. Navy, thanks for subbing. Just, ta just tase the neighbors and go home to tea. Uh, you need to make... Decal says it's not your fucking scene, Karen. I love that Port Authority video. <laughs> that is a funny one. Um, <laughs> they thought it was a handgun... Uh, he walked out of the store and made the sign of the cross, which raised while raising the gun. Police say they shot Easel after he didn't obey their orders. Okay. Uh, justify. Pointed a pellet gun at police. David Arthur, 44 years old, out of Ohio. <sighs> Try to escape from Tarkov? I have tried it. Oh, that guy. That's meth right there. Officials, officials identify man shot. Shut up. Officials identify man shot and killed by SWAT. Ooh, SWAT was out there. What was he doing? Um, deputies got a tip that a man wanted on several charges was at a home. They approached. Something prompted them to back away from the home, so they got a search warrant. Played it the safe way. Uh, within a few hours, he began firing through a window at the SWAT team. Justified. Oh, no name out of Colorado. I was going to kill one woman, wound another, and shooting women were inside the vehicle with a man driving with deputies approached the vehicle. One is dead, another woman is injured after being shot by Adams County deputies while officers responded to a call about a suspicious vehicle. Two women were inside of a paywall. God damn it. Hold on, guys. Got it. Um, uh, it's unclear whether the woman fired at deputies when they approached or just had her gun drawn. Hold on. The deceased woman was pronounced dead at the scene. Didn't know the vehicle was in motion during the shooting. So she either had her gun drawn or fired at police. So... He initially heard one shot, then about six. So it kind of sounds like they were shot at, and then they returned fire with six shots. Okay, justified. Ran just a weapon. You think details would be in there? You think there'd be more details in them? Joseph! Man killed after firing multiple gunshots at Hall County deputies. Justified. I don't even have to read about that one. Ashley, uh, 28 year old Ashley Simonetti out of Missouri. Um, two and a half hours in a standoff with a woman armed with a sword. They shot and killed her. Radio dispatch there. I've been an officer involved shooting shots. Fire party is down. A woman, let's see, they were called to a residential neighborhood. A woman, possibly bearing a sword, had left a residence and was barricaded in a shed. 
A 911 call for a person armed with a sword or a knife originally led police there. She had been seen earlier walking around with a sword, which is obviously a threat to the community. No shit. Uh, negotiators were called to the scene. The residence was believed to be unoccupied. The tactical officers secured the area to ensure the woman couldn't flee. Negotiators were on the scene. Uh, right outside the garage door. Two officers... An officer also to the woman's right outside the garage door. Two officers discharged. So, a person armed with a sword who was not complying. A barricaded suspect with a sword. 35. It was an assault sword. You're absolutely correct. Dun, 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 dun. Yeet. See you, Chaz, dude. Have a good one. Uh, looks like two people were killed on the same day in this one. Um, Robert White and Timothy Mo We just did Robert White. Wasn't, didn't, wasn't that the guy's name down here? Robert Lawrence White? Oh, this is a different Robert White. Okay. Because Robert White was the guy that attacked the police officer. In second Kansas City police shooting of the day, police killed two in busy downtown. Uh, Kansas City police shooting left two dead Thursday, and just an hour after officer shot and killed a woman in Northland. Police shooting happened outside Open Plaza. Um, the incident started when two men fighting over a golf cart and a gun. Officers arrived on scene, were faced with a situation of lethal force. As a result, both men were killed. Uh, so they were fighting over a golf cart and a gun. Christ. They shot both of them and killed both of them. What do you guys think about that one? Questionable? Because, I mean, it's one gun. So, were both men armed? Did you just protect the public completely and kill both of them? No info? Not enough info. People were saying not enough info. Yeah, I'm going not enough info on that one. Marcelo Castellano, Washington. Suspect dies in an officer involved shooting at Kirkland Safeway. Oh my God, come on, man. There's nothing about the shooting whatsoever. I think you suck, newspaper. All right, man fatally shot by Raymond police identified. Two men, one gun. All right? Uh, oh my God, paywalls! Please die. Officers Cristiano died from multiple gunshot. Got gunshot wounds. Uh, be investigated by Kirkland police. They said detectives have been searching for an individual they considered armed dangerous when they confronted the man at the Safeway gas station. He was fueling up his pickup truck when officers attempted to take him into custody and shots were fired. Police say the man had a gun in his possession at the time of the shooting. All right, so it was a armed and dangerous man who had a gun on him and they tried to take him into custody and there was a struggle. That's justified. Um, no name out of Colorado. He died, he got shot by a police officer during suspected robbery. Suspect had died. The shooting happened at a 7-Eleven. Two DPD bicycle patrol officers were flagged down. One person told them that a robbery had just occurred. One, of the, one officer approached the suspect and exchanged gunfire with the suspect. 37. Ugh. Don't know it's a filthy ad blocker. I <laughs> am filthy, filthy, dirty ad blocker. Um, bits or super chats? Uh, so I think I get super, I get more super chats. Uh, Terrence White. Nevada. Las Vegas police shoot killed armed suspect identified in a string of robberies. Justified. David Hicks. Illinois. Uh, shot dead by officer during domestic disturbance. See, like I said, man, a lot of these are domestic disturbances. Char Charleston, South Carolina, love. Oh, man, I love Charleston. I need to go back there. I haven't been there in a, in a while. Um, let me have a drink of my Goza. I've been drinking beer, sour beers. They're not bad. They, at first, I thought they tasted like bile, like I threw up in my mouth, but now I, just, I really like them. I got a key lime pie goza. It's pretty good. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I'm just reading chat real quick. 
the message of disturbances is just scarily broad. Uh, that's that's like I think the majority of police officers who are shot and killed it's during a domestic disturbance are responding to a domestic disturbance. But you know sometimes they'll respond to a um, suspicious person walking down the road and it ends up in a gunfight, or you respond to my dog got ran over and it ends up in a gunfight. You know you never know. Um, police were called to a home on Frederick Street where a person told police Hicks had caused a disturbance before fleeing on foot. After making contact with him, the officer perceived Hicks perceived actions by Hicks, which caused the officer to fear for his life. The officer shot Hick. He perceived action. What the fuck? There's not enough info for that one. Uh, Guermo Perez and Elizabeth Tolison. They were both shot and killed. Oh man, what were they doing? Was it a robbery? Forty-year-old man was fatally shot by police. Shooting occurred in the area of a church. Outside of a church, it serves food for Chris Holmstrom. This is my goddamn show. Uh, no officers were at. 45 year old woman was transported to the hospital on scene. Her condition was unknown. Another one was injured in the. Hold on. I fucking skipped ahead. It was outside of a soup kitchen. Suspect was taken to the hospital. Witnesses told Chris Holmstrom they saw the suspect holding a chair and a knife with blood all over. Oh, this is the. This is the guy that tried to cut the woman's head off. This is my video that got monetized for some reason. Yeah, that was definitely justified all fucking day long. Uh, Ronald Barney, 48 years old, out of Arizona. That's the one that, you know, Blood Sacrifice got my got me ads on it, because that's how YouTube rolls. Hey, new members. Uh, welcome, Freedom. <laughs> Kelly, Freedom, thank you. Gerald, what's up, man? Bye. How do you get to be a member? You gotta click join, but I think you can't, you can only do it on PC. This is my first live stream on YouTube in 90 days. Officials say a man was shot by an officer in North Phoenix Saturday after witnesses reported just <laughs> reportedly saw him walking around the neighborhood with a gun and pointing it at people. Um, when officers arrived on the scene, officers approached him. He got in a black vehicle and fled. He exited his vehicle and pointed handguns at officers after fleeing from police. That is justified. B -b 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 Michael D. Fletcher, 53 years old, out of Arizona. Man dead after officer involved shooting. Officer responded to an area with... See, okay, here's what I was talking about. Like, the simplest of things can end up being a shooting. This was a 911 hang-up call, um, which officers, you know, you usually do patrol an area when someone calls 911 just hangs up. Then that'll go out as, hey, can you go out and just check this out? And you just drive around the area with the windows down. Listen, see if you hear anything. Look for anything odd. Uh, when officers got on the scene, they encountered a woman and a man. Police said that the man was agitated and refused to talk to officers. The woman walked towards officers and was escorted away. From the home, the man began yelling at officers and went back inside. When he came back outside, he appeared to be holding a handgun. He raised his suspected gun at officers, and they fired. An officer fired his weapon. The man retreated back inside his home. There was a barricaded suspect situation, and he died. Uh, he died from a single gunshot wound. A police said a BB gun was found at the scene. Okay, so he pointed a real, real-looking gun at him. There we go. Forty-one. What's next? Coffee cop? I don't know. The police is, is just domestic badasses, I, I guess. What do I recommend as an everyday carry? Uh, I carry a Walter PPQ, and I love it. I, lo I love it way more than my Glock 22 that I carried for years. Every day for, you know, three years. Where do you find this list of police shootings? This is from a website called killedbypolice.net. And I really like this website, but they've stopped doing what they're doing. And I'm going... To, if they're stopping... If they're stopping updating this website, like it says when you go there, then I might create my own and include videos. Jonathan Wheeler, thanks for subbing. Uh, where are we at? Richard Rivera, 47 years old. Albuquerque. Chaotic police chase ended with an Albuquerque police officer shooting and killing an armed suspect. <laughs> Started with an armed robbery. Oh my God! Be quiet. It started with an armed robbery at a Verizon store. Officers were in the area. They located what they believed to be a vehicle from the armed robbery. The chase ended at a crash into the grocery store. Uh, the guy was running through Smith's parking lot, and the cops shot him because he was pulling out a gun. Oh, I remember this video. This video was fucking nuts. You remember? It's the guy who like the police officer shot him in the spine and it severed his spine, and he he like twisted around, and his legs were bent away that they shouldn't have been bending. It was that one. That was justified because you can see the gun in the guy's hand as he was turning around. Uh, Dwayne Clyburn. That is one hell of a redneck name if I've ever heard one. Dwayne Clyburn. 
Uh, New York. Knife wielding man. Um, he was wielding a knife as he advanced towards officers. They were called to a house. They found a man threatening other residents of the house with a knife. They ordered him to drop the knife, but he refused and started advancing on the officers. Then an officer shot him. 43. Tahaji? Tahaji Wells out of New Jersey. Yeah, that one was pretty gross, that shooting. Yeah. Uh, gunmen opened fire at an all-night art, art and music festival, sending people running over each other and scrambling to safety. One suspect was killed, and 22 people, including the two suspects, were injured. Uh, yeah, that was justified. Is that two, though? No. Abe Martinez. So someone, that, that last one, in case you didn't hear me, I kind of ran through that one really quick, and I mumble a lot. Uh, a guy opened fire at a nightclub, or at a festival, and injured 22 people. And he was shot and killed. Elderly woman killed, husband critically injured, and in hostage incident. Suspect shot dead by police. Uh, an elderly woman is dead and her husband critically injured after being taken hostage Sunday. Oh, hostage situation justified. Vincent Kinslow. St. Augustine. Killed by a trooper. A pedestrian. With, oh, a pedestrian. Let's see. Okay. Th so here's my problem with this website. They like to put when like a police officer accidentally runs over someone on here. Um, a, a pedestrian was hit and killed after crossing into the path of an FHP trooper. That doesn't count at all. Uh, Ryan Angerstein out of Ohio, 30 years old. Acorn man dies in police custody. Two tasers were collected from the scene. The death, a cause of death remains unclear after an Acorn man died while in police custody. He became unresponsive when he was placed in handcuffs in the, on the ground. The initial report was for a man banging on doors yelling for help. Two tasers were collected on the from the scene, and Angerson was hit at least once by the taser. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Not enough info. That's a weird one. Osman. Okay, I think I just confused two incidents together. He was heard yelling, I have a gun. That's when the officer shot. Oh, yeah, because he was running toward a crowded grocery store. So the officer, and he was screaming, I have a gun. So that's when the officer opened fire. You're right. You're absolutely right. That's the spine guy we were just talking about. You're right. Sorry. I confused two incidents together. I go over so many of these. <laughs> if you if you guys didn't know. um, Yeah, that one was, I don't know. Robert Royball, 55 years old, out of New Mexico. Tukum, Tukum Kari? Deadly shooting happened around 4 a.m. Just hundreds of feet away from a middle and high school. Part of the street was blocked off. Police say that Quay County deputies arrived to find him holding a hostage with a knife. Justified. Uh, no name. Out of Texas. Man hit and killed by police cruiser while attempting to cross a highway. Okay, that's obviously an accident. Antoine. Oh, Antoine Rose. He was the teenager who was just involved in a drive-by and then was running and he got shot in the back. Yeah, Janelle, I spoke with... They shot him. Yeah, I did a whole whole video on this one. They're trying to deal with what happened in a difficult time. What do, you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this one? Do you guys remember Antoine Rose? He was, he was running. It was a traffic stop. His vehicle had bullet holes in it because he was just involved in a drive-by. He didn't fire any shots. Um, surveillance footage revealed that, or confirmed that, that he didn't fire any shots. His friend in the front seat did. But he got out of the car and took off running, and he got shot in the back. The officer was arrested, by the way. Questionable. Okay. I'm seeing lots of questionables. We'll go questionable for right now. Charles Spiller is 65 years old, out of Georgia. That's kind of how the video was, too. I asked you guys, and then the comments were, like, split right down the middle. Some people were like, you shouldn't be doing hood rat shit with your friends. And some people were saying, well, you know, he didn't even turn around. He was running away, and the officer shot him in the back. So, one dead and deputy involved shooting. A West Forsyth man was shot and killed by a deputy during a domestic incident. Domestic? There you go. Someone called. 911 hung up. 911 dispatcher was able to make contact with a woman in the home who said she was involved in a dispute with her husband. A third deputy, a sergeant, joined the response. Response? A man appeared with a gun, which the, it was the husband. He was displaying the gun. One of our deputies took defensive action and shot and killed the husband. All right. Well, I mean, when the police arrive at your house, you don't approach them with a gun. 47, justified. Bum, 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 bum. Jonathan Buckley, 20 years old, out of Georgia. Man who killed after kidnapping woman. Okay, 48. Next. 
Uh, Nathaniel McCoy, 32 years old, Louisiana. Bum, 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 bum. State police are investigating the arrest and tasering of a man. The 32-year-old man identified as his family is being taken off life support. He's been unresponsive for days. The circumstances surrounding McCoy's arrest have been turned over to state troopers. All right, not enough info on that one. Um, Thomas Stanford, 54, constitutional. Hey, would you ever do a sovereign citizen bingo with a sovereign citizen or a podcast with one? Um, I mean, I don't know. He was do a sovereign citizen bingo with a sovereign citizen. That'd be funny. He was just walking by. Daughter promises to seek justice for her father killed by security guard outside of Utah state government. Outside Utah state government offices. Security guard. Keyword, security guard. See, this is another one that shouldn't be on here. Jesse Wade Powell, 44, out of Oregon. First stream at work. Love to show support the good people I watch time to time. Thank you so much, Mike. Man. Appreciate it. Uh, DCSO, W shoots kill Springfield man at a campsite. Springfield man with a long criminal history is shot and killed by two sheriff's deputies responding to the report of a disturbance with shots fired at a campsite. Uh, woman hiking in the area heard a confrontation between a male and a female, then heard gunshots and contacted authorities. He had a long criminal history and that a U-Haul truck, camp trailer, motorcycle, and camper he had in the woods had been reported stolen. Court records show Powell was arrested on numerous charges in Lane County between 93 and 2003, ranging from burglary and theft to rape and sex abuse, criminal mischief, menacing, and eluding police. Justified. Uh, Jonathan Legg, 29 years old, out of Ohio. Bandit, thank you. Team Justice, thank you. Man shot dead after shootout. He exchanged gunfire with Parma police. Justified. Anthony Marcel Green, 33 years old, out of Georgia. Uh, stopped in the intersection. An officer was following a vehicle that stopped in the intersection. The driver later identified as 33 years old, but I don't qualify due to my foreign tattoo. What other branches do you recommend? They won't, you can't get in the Marines if you have a forearm tattoo. Mr. Party Sat, what branch do I recommend? Uh, you're definitely not going to be able to get in the Air Force if they won't let you in the Marine Corps with a tattoo. I don't, I don't know. Will they even let you in the... I, I didn't know. I thought the tattoo policies were lifted. I know the Air Force just lifted theirs a lot. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what the tattoo policies are now. It's completely different when I was in and when I became a uh, sailor. Uh, brief altercation occurred. Once officers caught up to Green, the officers fired multiple shots and Green was killed. Family members say he was running away when he was shot. Of course they do. Um, fuck, I don't know this one. I don't remember this one. He ran, he bailed out of a car when they initiated a traffic stop, and there was a brief altercation, and he was killed. Uh, we're going to go with not enough info on that one. Logan Williamson, 37 years old. Oh, thank you, Jack, for the $30 pledge. Logan Williamson, 32, 37 years old, out of Ohio. Uh, police chief, officer shoot, kills man who fatally stabbed woman. Justified. Uh, Schuler Lake, out of New York, 20 years old. Killed 20-year-old man as he stabbed his mother. Justified. Uh, no name, out of California, June 22nd. Recipes, Daniel Rupp, 12-year-old, 12-year-old, Jesus Christ, 12-year... Law enforcement officer, Joliet, Illinois, suicide. Was he the one that killed himself in his patrol car today? Uh, outside Inglewood Police Station. Fatally shot after pointing BB gun at officers outside of a police station. 53. Thomas Beal, um, out of Virginia. How old are you, Thomas? 31 years old. No charges to be filed in Chili's investigation. It happened at Chili's. Use of force was justified, according to the Commonwealth's attorney of Rockingham County. Uh, they didn't even charge the officer. He was charged with a large knife, and the officer repeatedly advised him to drop the knife to let customers. He had cornered leave the restaurant. So he cornered customers in a restaurant with a knife, and he wouldn't drop the knife. He refused to drop the knife, and they tried to tase him. He advanced towards the officer, still armed with a large knife, and they killed him in order to protect themselves and the customers. 54. Timothy Dill. Which one was Dill? That sounds very familiar. Atlantic City police officer stabbed one kill. Which one? Let's see. 
He stabbed a police officer after... Wasn't there a video of this one? Who shot and killed? Jesus. Um, oh, he's the... Oh, it was the video where he walked up to the officers who were just standing there. And he fucking pulled the knife out and stabbed one of them. I remember that one. Uh, the army will not take you, Toffel Dermos. <laughs> I remember this one. This one had a video. Yeah, right here. It was this one. You guys remember this one? I talked about this one. Bum, 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 bum. They were investigating a... Uh, it was a wreck. It was just a traffic accident. And dude walked up and started stabbing him. And look, look at his... Here's his family out here. Justice for Tim. Uh, here's all these people out here. Holding signs, justice for Tim, justice for Tim. He walked up to the cop and stabbed him. Right here, see the knife in his hand? He walked up to the cop and just stabbed him. And the officers opened fire on him. But no, no, justice for Tim. Justice for Tim. Tim is a victim here. Dumbass. Tim is a dumbass is what Tim is. Justified. Thanks for all the videos on, says Michael. Thank you. Uh, what was I doing? I'm trying to look up who. Where are you at? Toffle Dermis. Okay, I couldn't think of who you were off the top of my head. Okay. Okie dokie. Yes, you have some pretty rad YouTube videos. I remember watching a bunch of these, and I've commented on your videos before. I could not think of who you were. I was sitting here the whole time racking my brain. Everyone, check out Toffle Dermis's videos. He does shotgun shell. He does a bunch of crazy shit with bullets. It's pretty cool. I remember watching his stuff now. Uh, yes, does some really cool videos putting random shit in shotgun shells. So go ahead and check him out. He's a scientist. <laughs> um, where are we at? Robert Lyle. Uh, officer involved shooting in Meridian neighborhood. A friend of a woman said a man entered her residence, grabbed a knife, prompting police. When officers arrived on scene, the calling party, she heard three shots fired into the home's backyard. Suspect was tearing up the tearing up the house and grabbing knives. When officers arrived on scene, I think I remember this. Then I think this one had a video. Towel? Did I say towelful dermis? <laughs> um, thank you, Benjamin. I love you guys, too. Suspect made statements in the effect, I'm not going back to jail, and pulled a handgun from his waistband, and officer fired a taser. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. One officer fires a taser, and one fired his, his weapon. Okay. Pulled a gun on officers, said he wasn't going back to jail. It's obvious what was going to happen at that point. Um, Eric Sweet out of Oregon. We're getting there, guys. We're at June 23rd. T Towel Flittermouse? Towel Dermis. <laughs> it's Towel Flattermouse. Towel Flattermouse. It's bad in German. Oh, Towel Flattermouse. Towel Flattermis. <laughs> One dead and also involved shooting in Coos Bay. Two Flatter Moose. <laughs> Two fucking Moose. Hold on just a second. Oh my god, paywall, go away. Look, check it out. Check it out, guys. Oh fuck, come on. Look. Look, 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 I got it. Look, it's two fucking moose. That's how you pronounce his name right there. Two fucking moose. <laughs> oh my god, I am 13. Um where is it at? I hate they didn't make me do the paywall thing. Coos Bay! <laughs> a Coos Bay resident armed with a rifle was shot dead by officers. They attempted to arrest him for a felony attempting to elude police officers in both instances. Pursuits were discontinued for safety reasons, so he was able to get away from police twice. They went to his home. Uh, he later exited his home with a rifle and was ordered by police to drop his weapon. He pointed the rifle towards a police officer. Justified.
プープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープープwho fired off a handgun. Oh, this was a guy that ran through the alley and he started to turn around with the gun and he fired a shot and they shot him. Um, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this one was justified. I did a video on this one. Steven Heyer. Oh my God, the next three are no names. Lord have mercy. <sighs> Hit that like button, get donut trending. We're doing pretty good. We're keeping a, a consistent amount of people, around 2,500, and we have the whole time. We're just going to keep on moving. Uh, man dies, police canine stabbed. All right, 59. Oh, shit. No name out of Colorado. Suspect dies in shootout. Uh, four deputies were responding to a call about possible domestic violence. Domestic violence is very dangerous. Uh, f none of the four deputies were struck. A man was killed in a shootout with them, though, which means he had to shoot at, shot it at them. <laughs> shot. They arrived. The suspect left the home in a vehicle and shot at them. Justified. Um, San Diego. Two officers hurt suspect dead in college area shooting. He was wearing body armor and had an extensive criminal history. <laughs> Justified. Um, and if you're just jumping on here, my point behind all this is when we do videos like this, we do them on live streams to go over them together, just so I can show you guys that like 90, I think like, it usually ends up being 95 to 98% of the shootings that we go over were completely justified. And also, uh, I have the membership thing enabled on YouTube now, so if you want to click that join button, then I'm going to be doing live streams exclusively for members of my YouTube once a week. He shot out them. He did. <sighs> Please be tripping now. Police be tripping now. That's oh, that's what started this. That's why we started doing this stream because of um, police be tripping now. You're right. God, you guys remember my memes better than I do. Making a, making videos daily, I just forget shit. What the fucking paywall? Acting bizarre, including. <laughs> I'll try to read it before the paywall came up. 46-year-old man was acting bizarrely, including running in and out of traffic, was pronounced dead at hospital after very brief contact with Anaheim police. Uh, such much appeared to be trying to get into cars to hit him. Oh, he tried to get cars to hit him. They found the man. Uh, as officers approached him, the suspect was acting erratically, and the officers attempted to handcuff him for safety as well as his own safety. He resisted, and the officer used basic control holds to roll the suspect onto his stomach and handcuff him. In less than a minute, officers noticed the man was in medical distress and administered Narcan. Fire personnel said the man was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Uh, they never struck the man or used a carotid restraint, taser, or baton. Okay, that's justified. Sounds like he was under excited delirium. He was having a medical emergency in the first place, trying to get cars to hit him. They approached him, and then he ended up dying. Richard Talbot. We did this one, too. I feel like I talked about this one. I'm, I'm recognizing names, but I don't remember every single individual incident that I've talked about. Do you guys know I have 400 and something videos on my channel now? Lord have mercy. See ya, Gerald. Thanks for the thanks for all the uh, super chats, my guy. Life is good. Thanks for the 10 bucks. I saw a video of body cam footage. I remember a trooper takes a dude on a... Four wheeler. I don't remember. <laughs> he be trying to hit cars into him. <laughs> it's six six six. Oh yeah, it's six 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 videos. You guys can't see all of them, but all the um, all the ones that you can see, it's like four hundred something. But yeah, there are a total of six hundred sixty six videos on my channel. Four hundred sixty six to be exact. Said Navy. God damn, I make that many videos. Lewin Hoek, happy hump day. Richard Talbot, 32 years old. I talked about this one. Man and bike killed in crash. That has nothing to do with a police officer intentionally killing someone. Carter Yarborough, 48 years old. Motorcyclist killed in crash when sheriff's... To okay, come on, come on. That has nothing to do... That is an accident. Tara, thanks for becoming a member. 
18 year old shot to death by officer during traffic stop in Galveston, Galveston, Texas. Oh my god, go away, Samika Knight. This is my show. A uh, young man was shot to death by a police officer after a traffic stop in Gal Galveston. It was terrifying. There were two gunshots. Police uh, gun was found at the scene. Investigators won't say if it belonged to Argu 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 Argueta. Oh, investigators won't say why the situation escalated, what caused officers to pull the trigger, or how many times he fired. Unanswered questions. So it was a traffic stop, and they found a gun on scene, and shots were fired. We're going to say not enough info for that one. The details of the investigation have not been fully released. James Sorrentino. A live donut. Yes, I am a live donut. Very live. Bum, 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 bum. Man shot and killed in Wayne County standoff. The Wayne County coroner said Tuesday the standoff suspect James Fortino was shot in the neck and died from those injuries. Uh, a five hour long standoff ended up with him being shot dead. Troopers responded to reports of a man shooting at family members. Um, he opened fire on state police and they fired back, killing him. Justified. Bobby Blade. That sounds like a hard motherfucker right there. Bobby Blade. Hey, don't mess with him. It's Bobby Blade. Suspect shot and killed after high-speed chase in Dallas County. Officer injured in struggle. Um, incident began when they responded to a suspicious person call. Suspect fled in a car. They followed in pursuit. Uh, suspect's vehicle flipped and crashed. Suspect then fled on foot. Officers caught up with him. The suspect, shot. The suspect was shot during a struggle with the officer and taken to a local hospital where he died. Um, uh, so he fled from police in a car, flipped his car, got in a fight with him, and ended up being shot. He made those decisions for himself, therefore that is justified. Christopher Paul, 31 years old, out of D.C. Um, six Fairfax County officers on leave after unarmed man dies in custody. Oh. Squids or wet spooters? Spooters. I see that. I see that. Ah, shit. Boop, 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 boop. Life is good. I can't type stuff. First time not at work getting to watch. Hello from Seattle. What's up, man? Is that the place that doesn't have straws anymore? Officers were called to the 4300 block of Mission Court in Alexandria after a report of an overdose. Uh, the 911 caller was a relative who had been struck in the head by him. Officers found him inside the home naked and possibly experiencing a mental health crisis. They tried to de-escalate. He caused himself to fall on the floor in an effort to harm himself. No physical use of force or weapons were being used against him. The officers who were trained in crisis intervention and mental health awareness restrained him using handcuffs and a restraining device on his legs. Once he was restrained, paramedics were allowed to enter the home. His medics were assessing him. Paul experienced a medical emergency. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Doesn't look like the officers were at fault for that one. Um, why would that be? Uh, that shouldn't even be here. Killed by police. The guy was experiencing a medical emergency. He assaulted somebody. He tried to help him. A well is just an underwater bus. But can you ride in a well? I don't know. Ask your mom. <laughs> uh, man shot by deputies dies identified <laughs> and, uh, a man was shot at the deputy's answer to call corner sheriff's department is performing an autopsy wow thank thanks for the thanks for all the information there guys joey bronson 39 years old out of colorado life is good four of 65 shot by an aurora police officer early this morning <laughs> was it you was a good boy and police are giving us a lot suspect killed after brief foot chase Three officers involved in the shooting. One officer reportedly opened fire on the unidentified suspect. But all three worked to save the man's shot, a man's life after he was shot. Uh, trio of officers were out investigating a case. They heard gunshots. The officers then went in the direction of the gunshots and found several shell casings on the ground. They ran into a potential witness who provided a detailed description of what the suspect who fired the gun looked like and what they were wearing. The suspect may have also been menacing the witness and may have threatened that person. Just a few minutes after getting the suspect description, three officers saw someone matching it went after him. The officers chased him while telling the suspect to drop the weapon and surrender to them. Um, the suspect rounded a corner to a nearby building. Officers followed. The group of men came face to face as each, the officers continued to demand him to drop the gun. He said then he heard shots fired and the suspect 
drop to the ground. Okay. So he wouldn't drop a gun after he fired shots in the air and then threatened someone. That was his fault. David McIntosh out of Florida. 43 years old. Oh, Slick One 1976. What's up, man? A uh, motorcycle was killed in collision with Manatee deputies crew. Okay, that's not the police's fault. James Palmquist, 54 years old. Pasco County Sheriff's Office investigating deputy involved shooting in Dade City. A uh, man was claiming his roommate was suicidal and taken 100 pills when they arrived. The suicidal male exited the mobile home and fired a shot at deputies. Justified. Katie Lovett Hass Sasser and John Edward Hall Jr. out of Georgia. Suspended Glenn police officer dead after allegedly killing wife and boyfriend. Okay, that was not in the line of duty. Joshua Cartwright. One dead after officer involved shooting in Russellville to a person who had shot at Bell Bondsman who were trying to take the suspect into custody for felony warrants. Oh my God. It's Patty Mayo probably. Um, when officers arrived on scene, the suspect identified as 36-year-old Joshua Cartwright, barricaded himself in an apartment, and fired additional shots. Justified. Jason Washington, out of Oregon, 45 years old. Oh, no. We're almost done with this. Um, students protest Portland State Police deadly shoot. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Students Jason are... Oh, Washington. shh. Say his name. Jason Washington. Say his name. All right, so what do you do? <sighs> Cell phone video captured the deadly shooting. His older brother spoke at the rally. You don't care. I want to see the facts. Uh, oh my God, where's the facts? In the video, you can see Washington with a holstered handgun that comes loose during the shuffle. Witnesses say as he picked up the gun, campus police shot him. Oh, was this the one at the bar? This is the one at the. I think I saw this one. It was the one at the bar where he had a gun on him and he was trying to break up a fight and an officer saw the gun and opened fire. This one was questionable because we were, I remember we streamed this one. I didn't look into it after that. We, I streamed it and we talked about it. We were like, eh, I don't know about that one. So let's go questionable on that one. Uh, blank out of South Carolina. Clemson 7-Eleven. Well, a developing story. Officers were called to a fight. They arrived. Suspect locked himself in the store and was destroying things. Um, he charged the officers and began fighting the officers. As once the suspect was under control, EMS called to transport the officers. The suspect later became unresponsive and was pronounced dead. Uh, that just did the officers cause that? No. Hey, Bryce says thanks for the laughs and everything you do. Me and my buddies love your videos. Thanks, Bryce. I appreciate that, man. Uh, Waterford police fatally shoot domestic violence suspect who led officers on chase. Domestic violence. They heard several gunshots and someone was taken from the scene and, and well, that's the police. Uh, it was domestic violence. He was making threats towards a family. Police removed the family from a home for protection. Then they spotted the suspect. He planned to come here and shoot up a resident with a shotgun. Those were his words. Hey, Miss Firegal, thank you so much. Firefighters are people too. <laughs> I know. My dad was a firefighter for like 30 years. He's a retired Cobb County firefighter. Uh, he pulled a shotgun on officers. 69. Antonio Sanchez, 36 years old, out of Colorado. Man shot and killed by Aurora police after pursuit of suspect in Thursday shooting. Why does this one sound familiar? Uh, shot by police, suspect in Thursday shooting. Said a man showed up to an area hospital with two gunshot wounds after investigating that identified the suspect in the shooting, had probable cause to arrest him on a murder charge. Shots were fired. It was unclear if the suspect shot at officers or if they shot at him. Um, so he shot a guy, nearly killing him. Wait, was it murder or attempted murder? Attempted murder. So it was an attempted murder charge. They tried to arrest him. Said he fled? After a pursuit. Okay, so a guy wanted for attempted murder fled from police, and he ended up getting shot. I would say that's justified. Rodney Lee Hunter, 27 years old, out of California. California Poly, Pomona, public safety employee, fatally stabbed. Suspect dies after officer-involved shooting. Okay, so he fatally sa stabbed 
public safety employee. Hold on, we'll, we'll look at it. Um, stabbed to death in his truck. An employee reported the death and officers responded to the incident. A man was acting strange on another area of campus. This witness said the man to be out of it. Officers responded to the rural area of campus about a half mile away from the stabbing scene and contacted the man. He was then fatally shot. The man was responsible for the earlier stabbing. Okay, yeah. Justify. Randy Groom, 33 years old, out of Tennessee. Oh, the light speed says, sounds like cop-splaining. <laughs> oh, Randy Thomas Groom, 33 years old. Did we, this one we just did? Oh, 404 not found. Okay, we're just going to do not enough info. Chuck, what the? Chuck Waman McCann McGegboo. Chuck Waman Kapam. Chuck Waman Pakam McBoo. Chuck Waman Pakam. I don't, I don't know. Arizona, 19-year-old uh, male out of Arizona. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Apple. I haven't looked into that. Uh, teen suspect in West Phoenix. Responded to a report of a fight. As officers arrived, they say they saw a man and a woman in the alley. The woman ran towards the officers when she saw them. Reportedly, told them she had been involved in an argument. That's, she run up and say, I was arguing with him. <laughs> okay. Hey, from an Indiana Reserve Deputy Sheriff, I'm not a rent -a cop Just don't get paid. <laughs> okay, David. Uh, McGoober reportedly told officers he was armed, and as an officer tried to remove his weapon, he refused to give it up. Police say during the struggle, he pulled the gun from his waistband and fired a shot over his shoulder, shoulder towards the officer. 72. Um, Gary Lawrence out of Arkansas. Oh, Alaska. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alaska State Troopers identified Jeffrey Scott McAfee. Had been, he had been a trooper for three years. Huh. They're pursuing him for a warrant. Um, trooper website. He's charged with felony attempted murder. He had charges of attempted murder and other felony offenses. After they made contact with him, a fire started in the residence. A fire quickly engulfed the structure. Lawrence exited the structure and threatened troopers with an axe, and they fired on him. That's justified. Oh, man. And John Payne. He's not the last one. Let's get the last one's no name. John Payne, 51 years old, out of Louisiana. Pedestrian hit, killed by... Oh, come on. That's not the officer's fault. Uh, police security guard involved in shooting outside Casey Barr. They killed one. No, I mean, go away. Please don't, please don't have a lot. They're investigating a shooting. Security guard shot a person during a fight. Security guards shot. Oh, yeah, because security guards are police officers. Well, that wraps it up, my guys. Oh, we got through in an hour and 28 minutes. I'm uh, very proud of all of you for sticking it out with me. Carl says, shouldn't you be making fancy shotgun shells? Waffle epidermis. Oh, John, you're done on the list. Don't worry. Um... Okay, so the reason I do these is because police ain't tripping now. Police not tripping now. Um, Waffle Epidermis is tripping, though, making them shotgun shells like he does. Uh, where was I? 73 justified, 2 questionable, 10 not enough info. By my count. By your count, hopefully, too. Maybe. I don't know. You can disagree with me. That's fine. I like when people disagree with me. Carly Collette, before I get off here, I just want to say I did enable the membership thing on YouTube, so you can hit that join button. It's five bucks. Hey, thank you for the 100 DKK. I don't know, application of Danish National College. Oh, that's awesome. Well, good luck with that, joining the, the, the Danish National Police College. Um, so if you hit that join button, you can be a member of my channel, and that means that you. There are going to be more rewards in the future, but right now it's it's once a week. I'm going to do exclusive streams just for my members. So, Emily says, "Hey, from Rock Hill. Hi, hello. Oh, you should do a bad cop video once in a while instead of just cop splaining." Says the light speed. I do those, so you know that's that's just that's just your opinion, man. A hundred DKK is sixteen cents. God damn it. Thank you for the 16 cents. I'm very happy with that. 
But I'll be on Twitch tonight. I will not be on Twitch tonight. I'm going to get off of here, and I'm probably going to go to sleep. I'm trying to figure out my schedule. So I'm not going over to Twitch after this. I'm going to be, be done. Be done, son. I'm probably going to hang out. Um... I'm probably gonna god damn it you guys are making me lose my train of thought and read chat i'm probably going to play world of warcraft to tell you the truth for like 30 minutes and then go to bed i think i'm gonna start a new character on a new server then start a guild if anybody plays world of warcraft out there you can be in my guild i don't know what server it's gonna be on yet but i'm gonna be starting a new character uh you know what let's just fuck i don't even know what i'm gonna do i'll let you guys know on twitter just stay tuned to my twitter i'll let you know what i'm doing if you guys want to play world of warcraft with me <laughs> um hey welcome miss fire gal anyways everyone uh that's that's all I have for tonight. Does anyone have any questions before I jump off here? If I can, if the chat's not moving too fast, I can answer a question. You'll be playing Shell Shock Live. I don't know what that is. Donut Guild? Chris, that's exactly how I'm going to spell it. That's what it's going to be called, too. Donut Guild, G I L D. The Rusty Donut Guild. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Okay, um, guys, I need you to do me a favor. When you get off of here, go to UrbanDictionary.com and search for Dirty and then your name. I would be the Dirty Donut. So, you know, look that up. Sawcon in January. I don't know what Sawcon is. Uh, make videos daily. If I could, I would. Hold on. Val says that I get her text. Hold on. Uh, oh, there it is. Hold on, Val. I'm getting it. Uh, yeah, which, what do you want me to look at for this one? None of these are close. Hey, thank you, uh, Carly. Mike Flores, thanks for being a member. Thank you for joining all my new members. I'm going to be doing the stream sometime soon for my members only. It's going to be pretty fun. I saw God these nuts. <laughs> oh, thanks, Fadez. You got me. You got me good. You fucker. What am I doing mill time? You sent me a birthday gift last week? I will be doing mill time Saturday, probably. I usually wait two or three weeks to check my mail. A lot of cops are shot during traffic stops. Um, I wouldn't say a lot. A lot of cops. If you're okay, if you're asking like how much more police are shot on traffic stops, then I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I'd say half of the time police are shot is on a traffic stop, but I don't know. I, I couldn't quote you on that. Go to Officer Down Memorial page and you can find. I think they have statistics on that. Get him, Shep. Oh yeah, there's a new Shep video. It's looking pretty cool. So, guys, um, you're stupid, Vedas. Um, yeah. Now you're just getting ums and me staring blankly at the screen because I'm I'm done. These wear me out. Uh, you missed the stream, but the VOD will be up if you want to go back and watch it. Everyone, I love you. Thank you to all my my new members, my memberships, and uh, please have a fantastic day.